the Apache Falls. Very interesting. The only way to go out there is without your shoes on. I don't see anybody bathing because again, it's still in the upper 40s in the air. Looks like snow, but it's not snow. And those look like snowmakers, but they're not. They're palm trees. So we're going to walk around Pumakali and show you the sights of Pumakali now. And this looks like a ski slope ski resort, but it is not. Those are mineral deposits. And to walk in them, you must take your shoes off and go barefoot. So we'll see how that feels in a while. This is a pretty cool, not ski resort. All right, so we just found out that you can wear shoes from the entrance here up to where security is there, those benches. Then you need to take your shoes and socks off and walk one kilometer across there all the way over to there. And it's a little bit too cold. It's in the 40s right now. And we decided we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna go drive up and around, or at least we hope we can. So just remember, you come here, you gotta walk barefoot on the white stuff, not on the gravel. Make sure you remember that. All right, so we're gonna go through the gauntlet of geese here. I don't know how friendly they are. The domestic, we're gonna find out. Had a couple snorting at me. Let's find out. We have no food in our hand. We don't know. Again, it's off season. They might be hungry. I don't know if they're meat eaters. They look pretty aggressive. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, if they move, they're okay. We have to cross that bridge. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. This guy looks pretty friendly. I don't have any food. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Let's cross. Here we go. <laughs> uh oh, the guardians. They look pretty tough here. They might give way, maybe. Uh oh, they're slowing down. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. And a great thing to do in the morning at Pumakali is go for a hot air balloon ride. This one is filling up. I can see it getting bigger, and I think the tourists are probably on the other side of that. And we saw some guys taking their toys and going home already. And there's one up in the air. That's a uh, couple thousand feet, I'm going to guess. There's another one over here. We saw that one earlier. They moved a long time. I would imagine you're up there four, two hours maybe. So here comes one. So he looks like he's done for the day. So we're up. Um, Pumakali, Hierapolis, that's what the ruins are. And these are, well, they're Cleopatra poles. This is made of mineral. It looks like it's snow and water. It is not snow. Uh, you don't see anybody skiing. You do see hot air balloons. It looks like ski. Um, but that's, that's solid rock. That is solid white rock. I'll leave in the description what the rock's made of. There's 10 or 12 different components I saw in the, the guidebook we have, but I'll make sure I get that in the book for you. And you can just see it goes on for a while in the valley, the mountains in the background. We were down there, that's where the geese were, and as you see the steam is coming up. Because again, it's probably, it might be almost 50 degrees now. It's getting a little bit warmer, but it's pretty amazing. And I gotta imagine, thousand years ago that this area was pretty not looking like this it was probably a bit different and then an earthquake hit in the seventh century and flattened it and it changed civilization in this area I, I gotta imagine that it was pretty pretty bad because there was not much above ground except the big stuff and they might have put a lot of that back together again I run from the Pali waving hi. It's a shadow. It's a special effect up in the mountains. It's really cool, isn't it? You gotta come here and try this. In December though. 
All right, that looks like dirty melted snow out there. That's not. That is calcium, carbonate, potassium, and all kinds of different fun chemicals that I will leave in the description. But that is not for skiing, that is for looking. That is solid rock out there. And of course, the beautiful stuff in the foreground here are Cleopatra's pools. And that water is pretty, pretty toasty. Nobody's in it right now. The air is pretty chilly. But this is just absolutely stunning, beautiful. I'm sure the video looks nice, but to be here is even nicer. It's just, just breathtaking and it's speechless. in the distance you can see the Hierapolis theaters one of them and as you see palm trees right in front of me and I wonder what did this look like 1500 years ago before a devastating earthquake hit here if it had similar trees what the people were like what more buildings were here and what this amazing site of what's called Cleopatra's Pools at Pumakali look like. Absolutely breathtaking. That is not snow, that is solid mineral buildup. And as you can see, the mountains in the distance and the steam rising from the pools. So here we can see a dry part of Pumakali. The water is not flowing here. This is dry. This looks like somebody came and made this as part of a set for a movie from an alien movie. This would be a great place to do a movie. So imagine two, three, about three, maybe 4,000 years ago, you came walking through that valley all the way from Greece, from Rome, somewhere far, far away. And you saw this white, what you would think is snow. And as you came up to it, you realized it wasn't snow. It was mineral deposits. And then when you felt the water being thermal hot, you probably realized this is a good place to build home. What do you think? A ski resort or not? Looks like a ski resort with built-in hot tubs right above it. But that is not snow. That is a compound from thermal springs coming naturally out of the ground with mineral water that contains a lot of minerals. And I'll leave that description in the description. <laughs> 